cookies. I'm on this mission. <laughs> it's my second no cookie extension. Now, I guess if you count e-privacy, that's that was the first one. But uh, extensions that are specifically labeled no cookies are uh, intended to replace uh, existing extensions or existing implementations that use cookies. So I had the Google Analytics no cookies and today I'm introducing content YouTube no cookies. Um, if you've ever loaded up a YouTube video and then looked at the resources that are loaded, um, the YouTube videos come with half a dozen cookies or better. Um, it's not, uh, it's not really going to fly in the era of GDPR. And after the Zuckerberg testimony, I have no doubt that, uh, at some point in the very near future, the U S is going to implement some form of, of, uh, law similar to, if not the same as the GDPR, I actually kind of hope that when they do it, it's really close to the GDPR. That way I don't have to write yet another whole set of stuff to, to accommodate yet another set of laws, but I digress back to what our original video topic is, is the content YouTube, no cookies, plug in, get myself some more, some more screen space here. What I've done is th this is sort of like a, a direct replacement for something like all videos, except I don't support all videos. The only video, service that I'm supporting with this plugin is YouTube only. So if at some point, uh, I need to do this for Vimeo or whatever, then I'll make a content Vimeo, no cookies plugin or content, whatever. So today it's content, YouTube, no cookies. It's, it's, it's similar to just about any other, you know, video replacement that you've got or you've, you've used or you've seen where you put in a tag. In this case, I, I wanted to make it short. So I called it YTNC, YouTube no cookies. So you put in a YTNC tag around several different variations of a YouTube URL. You can even strip it down to just the video ID and wrap that in a YTNC tag and this plugin will recognize it and load it. So let me go to the, the full description, I put a bunch of instructions in here. Um, specifically, the, the, biggest, the biggest pieces, the most, uh, the most intricate pieces of this plugin is that it uses, it, it, it uh, implements all 21 of the YouTube embed options. So, uh, playlists. Um, video lists, I don't remember what they call that, the actual list name, where it's not a playlist. Uh, okay, so here's the list. This is if, if you have a list that you've defined within YouTube. This, this playlist is a common separated list of video IDs. So you can, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. This is all 21 of the options that are available uh, to YouTube embed. So they're, they're all here and this is the, this is just the defaults. So you can set them here. This is what I've done for, for this site. I've, I've set them uh, beyond uh, the uh, defaults so that I can achieve some cool stuff that I'm going to, I'm going to get to here in just a minute, the actual demos. Um, so yeah, you can, you can set the, the defaults and then and then, you know, use a super minimal tag. So just YTNC and the video ID, right? Or you can actually use all of these options within the YTNC tag to customize individual videos to behave differently than, than, than it's their counterparts running defaults. So you can have, you can have videos behaving differently. You can have one set of defaults and then you can, you can run a whole set of videos differently if you like. It's up to you. Um, the way that, the way that the, the, the plugin interprets parameters and the, these configuration defaults, 
um, you, you can override it in several different ways. And uh, I actually did, actually did the math on how many different ways you can, you can configure this thing just using the, the uh, defaults. I don't, I don't even know what that number is. It's big. And this is how many different ways you can configure it using the URL uh, query vars. And then you can use the URL query vars to override the settings you made in the configuration options. So there's a lot of stuff there. Oh, and then, then you can override all of the configuration options with the YTNC tags. So <laughs> I wanted to make it as flexible as possible. So I, I did enough things that I, I can't even wrap my head around the number of, op of options that I have given you. You're welcome. The last, uh, the last tab here, um, I, I've seen another plugin that does this. I don't remember which one it is, but it will convert raw URLs. So if you, if you po uh, post a, uh, paste a link to a YouTube video within an, an article, this plugin can automatically convert that into an embed. The reason I say can is because I gave you a way out. Um, if you go into the, the description here, I gave you a way out. Uh, if you if you give your link the class name no YTNC, then it will not be it will not be turned into an embed. The last piece that I've uh, that I've added to this is lazy load. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, I'm about to give you a demo. It it basically uh, speeds up your page load times by not loading the video it loads a piece of the video it loads the, the the thumbnail and turns it into a big button when they click on the button the actual video is loaded in and the way i have this configured i have autoplay turned on because i'm using lazy load so that when they click on the big button it loads the video and and, and it, it auto plays so they don't have to uh, click play twice so just i'm just going to shut up we're going to go to the demo welcome back to my sandbox This is in almost all my videos. I, I beat the heck out of this server. Um, all these videos are lazy loaded. This is not an actual video. Let me right click that and inspect it. It is, it is a div with a background and a button. Ain't nothing there. And you can see how fast the page loads. Bam. It's just loaded. So for for page load times if that's important to you which it's important to me page load times um and also if you're if you're loading up you know like on this page i've got what four videos here if i had actually loaded the videos this page would would take quite a while to load of course it's three of the same video i don't know what this is i found this link I just needed a link and I grabbed one and it's this German lady in this, uh, this, that they do like a, 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 a cardboard display pro, uh, product, which I, I just kind of gleaned from the thing because I don't speak German. Anyway, let's, uh, let, let's just give you a demo of what the lazy load looks like when you actually click on it. So I click on it, the video goes black and then it, it appears back as a, you know what, let me shut that off. We don't need to hear that. It comes back as a, uh, as a video. So I paused that and you know, I, put, I put one of my own in here. Um, now let me jump over here into articles so you can see exactly what, what I've done here. Here are the five, the five items that are on that page. If you notice, Oh, yeah, you won't be able to see it. Let me toggle the editor and get down there. Uh, this one, which one is it? The second link, the second actual anchor tag, I gave the no YTNC uh, class name to, and that's that's this item here, which did not get embedded. Uh, but this one did same same destination 
uh, I gave this one the special class name and it was not embedded. Uh, here is an example of a YTNC class, pardon me, a, a YTNC tag with just the video ID. Here's one with a full YouTube URL that also links to a playlist. This is the uh, this is the Google Analytics no cookies here. So if I load that one, now we have the playlist. So you, you can load it with a playlist if you like. If I mute that, good. Let's pause it too. Um, I implemented every every Google URL, pardon me, every YouTube URL scheme I could find uh, that is an actual uh, an actual video page. Um, it doesn't it doesn't load channels and it doesn't load. God, what's that other one? Yeah, doesn't matter. It has to be a video page. I didn't. I didn't want to. I don't want to try to venture anywhere other than video embeds. So that's what this does. If you want to load something else, then load something else somewhere else. That's not what this plugin is for. This plugin is for embedding videos. So I've given you all the options that I can. Now let's uh, let's mess with this some some here. Uh, let's do. Autoplay equals zero for this last, this last video, this one right here. So let's reload the page. Oh, it's already done. So now I click play, and there it is. Does not auto, does not auto play. Uh, but that's not the only way to do that. That's not the only way to do that. Uh, let's take autoplay equals zero out of this part. And autoplay equals one is is one of the defaults. So let's add it to the URL. Autoplay one equals zero. Save that, and we'll reload. And again, this video will not autoplay. But even though the video, okay, so the system default the plugin default is autoplay equals one i have overridden that with the url autoplay equals zero now i'm going to override that with the ytnc tag so it's now been overridden twice and we're playing so there's no, there's no real end to how you can, how you can override stuff. And I wanted to make it so that you could, you know, find a video, click this, right click, copy the link and just paste it onto your page. And the plugin takes care of the rest. Uh, if you want to then further customize, wrap that sucker in YTNC tags and customize to your heart's content. If you're familiar with how the YouTube URL scheme, uh, the, the query vars work, then by all means edit them in the in the uh, the URL. Um, the plugin is very flexible. It will let you it will let you uh, manipulate it in any way you like um, because of the the cascading overrides. Now, uh, by default, uh, it is responsive. So if you want a smaller video, stick it in a smaller container. See, and here I messed up my own. There we go. So, lots of fun. And yeah, I mean, like, uh, you can, you know what, let's, uh... oh, I didn't even, I didn't even show the cool part. I built this to auto integrate with the Google Analytics cookie free. So if you have my other extension, Google Analytics Cookie Free, it has the ability to monitor YouTube events. So all, all of the available YouTube events for the JS API uh, that, that YouTube offers, I have integrated into Google Analytics No Cookies. So if you're running 
my analytics no cookies plugin and you also are running this uh, youtube no cookies plugin when you if you were to do this globally using enable js api here in in the global config or if you were to add it to a specific ytnc tag that video will auto integrate with google analytics no cookies automatically so um it's actually the way it's running on my site here. I know, I know when videos uh, are loaded because I, I, I lazy load. If you click on the, uh, the video thumbnail, I know when it gets loaded. I know when the video begins to play and I get notified when you reach the end of the video. Those are the three events that I'm monitoring. Um, but it, the Google Analytics plugin monitors all events. And if you, if, you in, if you use this YouTube plugin and enable JS API, then it will auto integrate and you'll get these events. So let's let's watch that. It's super cool. Um, for this for this demo, I've I've enabled all of the events, so you'll get to see all of them. Uh, let's bring this bad boy up here and watch some stuff. So, uh, one of the events is on load. So when the video is available, let's refresh that okay this is the collect that is for uh the page load and let's scroll down here this video we have set to auto is it autoplay i want i want autoplay off for this one because we want to see every event individually so i'm gonna hit play here We'll have autoplay off as soon as this video is ready. We got an event. If we scroll down here, the event is player ready. If I hit play, we got two more events, three more events, not two more events. Uh, this event should be buffering. Oh, unstarted, yeah. And then we got buffering. And then I paused it immediately, so this should be a pause. Oop, unstarted. When I click play, it should be playing. This should be a playing event. Playing. And then if I get us all the way to the very, very end here, we're going to get one more event. When it reaches the end, bam. So was that it? Oh, playing. What did I hit play again? One of these events is ended and started. Ended. There it is. So anyway, I implemented all of the options that I needed and all the features that I needed and all the nifty things that I wanted. Um, this is available for demo on my website, richieweb.com. If you're watching this on my website, then this plugin embedded the video that you are currently watching. And it has already auto-linked with, uh, with the analytics plugin, so I know you're watching my video. You can see it. No, I can't. I got a message. And I came and told it to you. So, who are you again? Come to come to my website and uh, get the get the plug in. Enjoy.